Over 100 years ago, a group of families got together, excited about starting a new Brethren in Christ Church here in Palmyra. Although uncertain of what this might look like, they had a vision of what God might do. It would be safe to say that God has done more than they could ever have asked for or imagined. Today, we have over 400 people attending on an average Sunday and over 600 people who would call this place home. Literally, thousands of people have been influenced by God through the life of our church. What I love about church is that everyone is just so accepting here. It's just a lot of fun here. I love coming back every week to praise God. This church is great. I love working with the kids and it's a great friendly place. I love that our church is so supportive of missions here. I was able to go to Zambia this summer and everyone here was able to help me financially and spiritually and it really had an impact on my life. The thing I love most about the church is how accepting the older people are of the youth and how cool the youth leaders are. I love the people of all ages, from the little ones to all us grandpas and grandmas, and everybody in between. Be Story! I believe that God is now bringing us to a season of opportunity where He is challenging each one of us to take a greater step of faith than we have ever taken before. We're calling it Be Part of the Story. Be Part of the Story is a two-year generosity initiative that will enable us as a church to continue living out our vision as we engage our church family and community in relationships, as we create environments to reach our community for Jesus, and as we experience Jesus and His transforming power in our lives. This is a God-sized vision that will define our church for the next decade and beyond. As part of this initiative, our goal is to fund $1.8 million in two primary areas. The first, for our church, family, and community. And second, for the world in which we live. First, in our church, family, and community. Our new facility is a big piece of the Be Part of the Story initiative. And while we understand it is only one of the many environments that God has given to us, it is a vital one. It will allow us to reach more people in the community. It will allow us to expand our children, student, and adult areas of ministry. It will enhance our arts and technology so that we can continue reaching people who are far from Jesus. And through this, have a greater local community impact as we reach out and serve. As God has opened the doors for us to sell our current building, we are moving forward with phase two of this project to renovate our new facility. It's interesting looking back at the history of our church. When my dad was pastor in the 70s of considering a move to a different location. And of course, to see that coming uh, to fruition at this point and recognizing that we're uh, even a part of that uh, ministry of the life of our church. As I look towards the future of the church, I can get really excited just about having a new building, um, but you know, it's, it's just a building, and so it's the people in it that make it a church. So um, it excites me that our, our dream is to have um, it open to the community and have different opportunities throughout the week for people to come. So, you know, small groups, classes or counseling, preschool, mops, just all sorts of different things, groups for moms, that kind of thing. I just love that idea that we have room and space to do that. Secondly, we want to impact our world. We want to continue to mobilize and send our people both regionally and around the world. One of our regional areas uh, has been in Buffalo, New York. We have partnered with Queen City Farm, a ministry to the urban folks in Buffalo, helping them in the planting of gardens, both for themselves as well as to provide an opportunity for income. We've partnered with the missionary organization in the Ukraine. Two of our missionaries uh, are there as well, and we've sent a team, again, to help share the good news of Jesus. In the future, we want to continue our global impact. We are looking next year, in 2015, to send a group of individuals to Bolivia and to an orphanage. We want to continue uh, our ministry to those around the world and to educate our own church family on these kind of global issues and how our daily lives can make an impact far beyond 
our local community. I believe our church is impressive with the way we give to the community. Our summer outreach, the um, picnic party we have in the parking lot, I brought my mother to last year. And halfway through it, she was trying to give me some money. She said, how much did my ticket cost? And I'm like, no, it was free. It's just for the community. She's like, no, no, how much was it? I'll pay you for it. And I'm like, no, it's it's free. She's like, well, did you pay for my food? And I said, no, it's all provided by the church to bring new people in. Bring new people in and to provide a day of fun for the children and just an outreach for the community. And she was very impressed by that. So my challenge for us is to consider what it means to be part of the story in every aspect of our lives, to move beyond life as usual and to make investments in things that will have an eternal impact. We believe this will serve as one of the greatest spiritual experiences of our lives as people rise to the challenge to live lives of radical generosity. The vision we believe God has given for our church is a powerful one. And so I invite you to go on this journey with us as we get to be part of what God is going to do in us, in the greater Palmyra community, and around the world. Be part of the story.